Now, the Windward Islands volcanoes got the better of the combined campuses and colleges in a rain-affected CG United Super 50 clash at the Queen's Park Oval. Here's more. The CCC were looking for the reprieve after losing their opening clash to the Red Force earlier in the week. The Windwards batted first and lost an early one with the score on just 26. But that opened the run flow valve as Alec Athanes and Kevin Hodge piled on a 208-run partnership with both getting centuries. Athanes scoring his second century of the week after registering one in a practice encounter. He finished on 140 from 129 balls, hitting 16 fours and three sixes. Hodge carried through the innings, finishing not out on a patient 106. The Volcanoes were very active, finishing on 300 for four from their 50 overs. Amari Goodridge, the standard bowler, with figures of 2 for 56 for the CCC. Chasing a challenging 301 for victory, the combined campuses and colleges needed a solid start, but that went the opposite direction. They were made to toil at 39 for two when the clouds began hovering over Port of Spain. Jonathan Driggs and Kirsten Kalicharan tallied 41 for the third wicket when the torrential downpours prevailed. 82 for 4 the final score as the Windward Islands Volcanoes registering an important win by 50 runs according to the Duckworth Lewis method of scoring. Well, down at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy in Taruba, the rains only interrupted for a short time as the keenly contested match between the TNT Red Force and the Guyana Harpy Eagles unfolded. Guyana took first hit on a gloomy afternoon and commenced their innings with a 69-run opening stand between Anthony Bramble and Tejanarang Chandopal. Shannon Gabriel then had a double-wicket breakthrough, which put the Red Force back into the driver's seat. But Romario Shepard had other ideas as he smashed a rapid 74 not out from 46 balls to lead Guyana to 269 for 9 at the end of their 50 overs. Gabriel, the pick of the bowlers, taking 4 wickets for 42 runs, supported by Sun Narayan's frugal 3 for 17. The Red Force require 270 to pick up their second win of this year's Super 50 Cup.